All right, what's going on, guys? Good to be back, man. It's been a while since I've streamed. Not only that, it's uh, been a while since we've done baseball, nonetheless. So it's been crazy busy, man. Did a Babe Ruth League uh, tournament announcing whatnot, which was a lot of fun. Got some really good experience doing the real live thing. Been working on our Lockdown Federation Wrestling League. But I think we're finally ready to get back into the baseball. We've been killing it 11-1 and one through 12 games. Only lost our first game. Uh, there was just a really big update that was done to the game. So uh, we're going to have to check that out and kind of see what's all been done what's up jc what's up maddie welcome guys welcome it's been a while all right with that said let's get into it here a little bit let me know if the volumes are okay everything's coming through audio should be up and running i've had to kind of mess with some stuff while recording the uh, lockdown federation whatnot but we should be good to go um let's go ahead i'll pop the camera on for a little bit what's going on guys all right, so there was a new update. Um, I think now when you go to your team, maybe not. Maybe it's only in the off season, but you used to be able to see, so you can see all of our salary caps and whatnot. But, oh yeah, right here. So this is what they added. The, um, the column on the far, far right, salary, valuation. What up, Zach? I know, I know. I'm gonna be getting back to Twitch. Um, I'm gonna be doing the wrestling on Twitch for sure. I'll probably start doing some of these baseball ones on Twitch. I need to get back to Twitch. At least I make money on Twitch. So, um, I, I do need to get back on there. I think I'm just kind of waiting to, uh, I honestly don't know what I'm waiting for. Maybe, maybe I will just go back to Twitch just to go back to Twitch. But, um, yeah. But, um, they added the salary valuation thing in, which I guess is supposed to show you what the players getting paid and what their actual value should be oh uh, yeah maddie where you at so yeah everyone it looks like everyone's pretty much getting underpaid right now which is good for us <laughs> bad for you guys um but yeah that's kind of cool they they added some new animation type stuff they added uh some ui type things or whatnot but um yeah so it looks like we got Maddie's actually going to be our starting pitcher for the first game. We're going against the Bougie Birds. We're sitting at eight and four. We've at, we've just been dominating. Um, I don't think there's any player development stuff yet because we don't want to lose any of our traits. So not much to, to go off of there. Um, yeah, I think besides that, we're probably good to go. Um, I am going to increase. I know I haven't played in a while, but I'm going to go ahead and bump us up to 60. That's it. We're just going 60. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. So, oh, yeah, look. And now it actually shows starting pitcher number one of four in rotation, which I think is really cool. Um, there's also something's pumping on Dragon over there, if you guys see that in the corner. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. McGee is well, but she could do with a, a sit here. So we're going to swap her out. Oh, he's juiced. Okay, so he's feeling tense, but it's showing that he's juiced right now. I I don't know how he got juiced or what, but um, okay, that's cool. Uh, we need Rolly in because he's our other catcher. He hits righties. I wasn't even paying attention. Are we? Who are we? What are we going up against? Okay, we're going up against a righty. So that'll work there. JC, his stats are boosted for the game. Yeah, okay. Well, his stats are boosted, but I don't know if we really want him in there. Um, Cootsie's feeling tense. So is Dragon, but Dragon's at least juiced. I mean, let's compare their stats here. Yeah, I think we should go. I think we should go with uh, Dragon out there for this game. Can't really hit well, but you know we'll put him at the bottom of the lineup. We got Bobby V in there. Okay, it's just random. All right. Well, he's our juiced player, so we'll see what happens. 
Cousin Jay will be at third. Roly. Uh, we'll move Roly down the lineup. I know Roly's been hitting really well, but. Move Roly down a little bit. Actually, we'll put Roly. There, we'll go like that. Uh, Carter's killing the righties. Schaffenhaus. Schaffenhaus killing the lefties, but he's locked in. So I think we'll go ahead and leave him at the number four. Hot dangling, batting at the uh, the three spot. Dundee and Topher. I think that's pretty good. Let's play some ball here. There's a new uh, stadium in the game as well. So I don't know. Maybe like our home game, I can change that for us. We could try it out. All right. Welcome, everybody. We are here at the uh, ballpark taking on the Bougie Birds. They'll have Jace Hicks starting with an ERA of 5.59. And uh, we'll have Topher Dundee and Hot Dangling do up. Oh, we still got the music playing too. Huh? All right, here we go. The leading off is Topher playing short. Gotta remember how to play this. And he's gonna rip one over to first. Can he beat it out? No, he can't. So one pitch, one out. That'll bring up the second baseman, Greg Dundee. That one low for a ball. Boat, that's inside. That one inside. Hot shot. That's gonna be fair. Right past the first baseman, Dundee. We're gonna keep him at one. I don't think he would have got there. Dundee's a little slow. That's all right. That brings up hot dangling. Absolutely crushing the ball this year, especially against the righties. Oh, I popped that one up. That yeah, was a bad swing. All right, let's see if we can do something with Kenny Schaffenhaus, center fielder. He's had an awesome year as well. Oh, that one looked like it was inside, but all right. And that had me swinging at that one, and that'll be the out. Well, that's unfortunate. We'll have Matty Bird stepping up, pitching for us with a 1.9 ERA. Due up for the Bougie Birds will be Benitez, Tamale, and Jacques Boomerino. So here's the first baseman, number 39, Benitez. Been locked in. Got to remember how to play this. And we start him off with a strike. No problem there for Matty. A hot one. Topher can't get it. So that'll be a base hit for the Bougie Birds. This might be bad. <laughs> uh, Blamo Tamale. Center fielder. Number 49. He's up. He's been crushing the ball with a 444. And Roly fires. No. Got him. Now ball, 1-1 one, one count. There's a strike. Oh, just outside. Oh, I threw it to the wrong base. Well, we got the strike out. Then we went to first instead of third. So here comes Jacques Boomerino, the catcher. One out. Man on third with a lot of speed. Uh-oh. And Boomerino hacks that one off into the crowd. Fouled back. See if we can get the punch out here. Got him swinging. Look at Matty B stepping up. Now up to bat is the third baseman, Booty Nicks. And a 320 average. Uh oh. That one high. Nope, inside. Inside for a ball. Hot shot over to Dundee. No problem for him. Goes to first base, and that'll be the inning. 
So through one, both teams were able to put up a hit, but not able to do anything with it. Due up for the Water Dragons will be Carter, Jay, and Tumblr Monkey. We suck again. What's up, Bobby? Yeah, I haven't played in a while, and we upped it uh, up to 60. So we went from 56 to 60 in one game. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. That one in there for a strike. Yeah, there's a good hit there by Carter. That's going to be fair, and he's going to go two. Carter not known for uh, his speed, but when you hit it like that, it's easy to get on. Here comes the third baseman, Cousin Jay, batting a 341 average. He'll take that one for a strike. Ball that one way outside for a ball. That one really outside for a ball as the roller coaster goes up and around. That's inside. All three, three one count here to Cousin Jay. And there's a good hit, and that's gonna get passed out into right field. They're gonna hold up Carter. As the youngster, Roly Tumbler Monkey, who's really been the surprise player this season. Batting a 533, he's got runners at the corners. Takes a ball with no outs. They go over to first, and Jay not, not going on that. And Rowley just rips that one foul. And that's a double play ball all the way. But Rowley will get a run in. So the Water Dragons go up by one. Rowley rolled into the double play. Two outs now here in the top of the second. Nobody on for Bobby V. Bobby's been a pretty good bottom of the rotation hitter. I should say bottom of the lineup hitter. Oh, just laid on that big curveball. And bloops that one over short. And that'll be the out. So coming up in the bottom half of the second, Rob Hardwell, Sampson, and Knockmore. As the Bougie Birds now down by one. And there he is, he has been locked in, rock hard, Rob Hardwell. Matty starts him off with a strike. And whoa, there's a good hit. Dragon out there, he's got some speed. Goes all the way to the wall. And rock hard's on with a double. Here comes the left fielder, Lucian Sampson. He's been locked in as well with a 286 average. And he puts that one out there. Dragon makes the grab no problem. And Hardwell will be able to tag up though. Gets the third as Knockmore, the second baseman, will be up to bat. With one out, runner on third. And he's gonna have to try to work out of this. Got one in there for a ball. Inside. And no, inside. Now 2 0 count. And knock more. That one just goes foul. So 2 1 count. Hard shot. That will drive in a run as that gets all the way out there in the center. And the score is now tied 1 to 1. Here comes Booby Nix. She's a distractor. Not having a good year though. Batting a 188. Starts her off with the ball. Bows that one off into the dugout. Strike two. Got her. Throws her on that fourth ball at the bottom of the zone. And another strike out there for the K collector that is Matty Bird. So two outs with one on. Game's tied here in the bottom of the second. Oh. That one inside to Dervish Cisnero, the right fielder. That one's a strike. Oh, it's a 
good. Strike two. That fork ball working for him. Oh. And got him swinging out of the zone. Matty Burr with back-to-back -back punch outs. He gives up one in that inning. So do up for the top of the third will be Dragon, Topher, and Dundee. Both teams with three hits and one run apiece. So here's Ace Dragon. He hasn't played too much, but he's batting a 333. Not really known for his hitting, more his fielding and speed. He fouls that one back. And again, fights that one off, jammed inside. And a little grounder over to second. And he'll be down on the ground out. As the shortstop, Chris Topher, comes back up to bat. And that one, a line drive to knock more over there at second base. And he catches it. So quickly, two up, two down for Greg Dundee. Watches one for a ball. Left that one, ball two. Ball, left outside. ball three. And fouls that one off. No ball and Dundee will reach for the walk. As pitcher wanted no part of Dundee. <laughs> he has been on a tear lately with the bat. That'll bring up hot dangling. That one's a strike. Catches the outside corner. No, nope, inside. And that one back in there for a ball. Ball. Ball two. And a hot shot there from Hot Dangling. Dundee makes it a second. Dang will be on base for this first hit of the game. And that'll bring up Mr. Clutch here, Kenny Schaffenhaus. He's been locked in. Runner in scoring position. He could really open this game up. He takes one low for a ball. And there is a hot rocket deep out in the center left. It is gone. A three-run blast for Kenny Schaffenhaus. 445 feet, his sixth home run, 16th RBI of the season. That'll bring up Carter. He doubled earlier in the game. So the two-out rally is on for the Water Dragons. They now lead 4-1. to one. No, That no. one's in there for a ball. 2-0 count. No, no. And all of a sudden, J6 having some trouble here. And Carter will be on base with a walk. Brings up Cousin J. He singled earlier in the game. Inside for a ball. Hicks completely tense here. Oh, inside. That's a strike. That one finally hits the inside corner for a strike. Strike two, so a 2-2 count with two outs. And a hot shot over there right past the third baseman. Jay will be on his second hit of the game. So Deuce is wild here for Rolly Tumbler Monkey. The young catching stud. Two on with two outs. And he takes that one in there for a strike. And oh, just popped that one up. And finally the inning is over, but the Water Dragons bring across three. They now lead here in the heading into the bottom third. 4-1 to one over the Bougie Birds. And Benitez, Tamale, and Boomerino will be coming up. Matty B, I believe it, said he already has four strikeouts. As first baseman Benitez, he's one for one today, and he's been on fire as of late. Matty says, yes, a little bit of breathing room from the offense. Nope, inside. Uh, for a ball. And there's one out to Bobby V, and no problem there for him. As Blamo Tamale gets back in for his second hit of the day. One out here in the bottom of the third. That 
one. A hot shot right past Matty. And he'll be on base with a single. Now the big bat of Jacques Boomberino. That's a swing. Starts him off with a strike. I don't remember how to uh, do a pickoff. The L1 circle? R1 circle? I don't remember. Ball. On a ball. Count goes one on one. That one's in there for a strike. And set up for a double play. Topher to two. Dundee to Carter. Double play. The 6 4 3 put out. Ends the inning, so nice pitching there from Bird. That fork ball in the dirt has been getting these bougie birds all game so far. As we head to the top of the fourth with Bobby V, Ace Dragon, and Chris Topher do up. Oh, a little late on that one is V. That's inside. That one inside for a ball. One well, breaks over the plate for a strike. And a little blooper. Oh, just foul. And got him swinging there at one in the dirt. Bobby V gets set down as Ace Dragon now up to bat. Oops, wrong button. Nope, that's hard. And that one fouled off into the crowd. Popped way up in the air. Center fielder looks like he's in position, and he is. Rob Hardwell makes the grab. So two down here for Topher, who's got an over on the day. Hammers that one, but foul. Left down. Inside. Do one count. And again, rips that one foul, 2-2. Two, two. That one up the middle. Can he beat it out? No, unfortunately he cannot. So nothing happening there for the Water Dragons as we go to the bottom of the fourth with Booty Nicks, Rob Hardwell, and Sampson do up. There's Booty Nicks, third baseman. Been a little tense. She's been on a cold streak as of late. But a great hitter could easily break out of that. Yeah, she grounds one over to Topher. Goes to first for the 6-3 put out. Here comes rock hard Rob Hardwell. He doubled earlier in the game, batting at 396 with three home runs on the year. And he starts him with a strike. Pops one out to Bobby V. Oh, no! What a diving slide. Just missed it. Boy, that would have been a very impressive catch there from Bobby V. Shallow. In the left field. Had to go on the run. So, one on with one out. Rolly fires and safe, unfortunately. And again, I feel like it's impossible to throw somebody out. I, uh, I don't know, man. So now one out. Runner on third. And that'll roll the Dundee. Bear hands it. A run will come across, but they do record the out. As Ezekiel Knockmore, the second baseman, he's one for one today with an RBI. He's got nobody on. And that'll be a ball. Strike high and inside. Fouls that one back. One, two count. And again, finds a way to hit that fork ball. Rolls all the way out into center field, and Knockmore is on. 
Two hit game for Knockmore. As Booby Nix steps up, batting in the eighth spot. He's 0 for 1 today. Left down. And he starts her with a ball. And a good bunt there. Bird fires and she's saved. So what a play there from Booty Nix to get on base. As Dervish Cisnera now up. Adding in the nine spot. You bet that's a strike. Starts in with a strike. Strike two. No, no. Oh, just outside. I don't know where that one missed. Oh. Two two count with two outs and two on here to Cisnero. Full count. And got him swinging. So Matty with a huge punch out there. One comes across, but Water Dragon still lead four to two as we head to the top of the fifth with Dundee dangling and Schaffenhaus two up. They had the big inning in the third. They drove across three. Let's see if they can do it again. Dundee one for one with a single and a walk. Been locked in. That first pitch swing and Dundee, that ball is gone. He has been crushing the ball. 433 on that one. Seventh home run, 20 RBIs on the season. And it doesn't get any easier because here comes the DH hot dangling. And like that, that'll bring in a pitching change as Killer Allen, the righty, a lot of heat. He'll be coming in. And these are, sorry, dangling. Fouls that one off. Nope. That outside. one's outside for a ball. Nope. Uh. A little high. And that one fouled off. Might have been a ball outside. Hot shot over to short. Nicks loves it. Goes to first for the 6 3 put out. As Kenny Schaffenhaus, who had the three RBI home run back in the third, comes up, one out, nobody on. Takes a strike, high and outside. And that one shatters the bat, tries to beat it out, and no, just thrown out. Here comes the first baseman, Jack Carter. Has a double and a walk today. Oh, that one curved inside. Jammed him up. Strike two. Has to fight that one off over the Knicks at third. And that'll be three up and three down. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Both teams with seven hits. But the Water Dragons have done some damage on some long balls. As they lead five to two with Benitez, Tamale, and Boomerino coming up. So here is Benitez. He's been locked in. One for two today. And he starts in with a 94 heater. Up and in. That one fouled off. No, no. Couldn't get him to chase. As these batters might be getting familiar with that fork ball finally. And that one again right up the middle. Every single time it's a hit, right up the middle. It's so, so irritating. So he's on base as Blamo Tamale steps in. A lot of speed over there, and I don't know how to throw to. I don't know how to throw over anymore. Oh, oh almost got him on the pickoff attempt. So now you have a pitcher disengagement. You can only throw it over three times. And that one, no, it's impossible to pick off these runners. So we already know what's about to come. It's 
And no. Thought I'd try maybe the pitch out. And oh, come on! It's ridiculous. So a 2 2 count. Gonna get him to chase. And he's gonna walk. So Tamale's on. Runners at the corners now with no outs. No, nope, inside. That one inside for a ball. And again, right up the middle. Same exact hit. <laughs> Man, I don't know. Maybe it's just me and I haven't played, but this is frustrating as shit right now. All they're doing is grounding right up the middle. They're getting on base. You can't throw them out. And that one, a hot shot. Dragon fires home. That was a good throw, right on the money. So here comes Hardwell. Rock hard Rob Hardwell. He's two for two with a double and a single. Base is loaded, nobody out. Score now three to five. Water Dragon's up. Starts him with a strike. Come on! What is going on? It's the same freaking hit every time. Okay. So again, the exact same hit happens in the exact same location. I don't know if there's any way to... I mean, there's not much I can really do. Candy apples! I'm pretty sure there's apples in there. That one in there for a strike. Strike two. If we can get a punch out here, that'd be nice. And Jay goes to two to one. Double play, but the tie the game is now tied after all these ridiculous hits. This is absolutely stupid. You just can't tell. This is the first time you guys are going to see me get irritated because it's just the exact same hit over and over and over, which I feel is just ridiculous right now. I'm pitching them out of the zone, and they just keep finding a way to hit it right past the second baseman every time. It's fucking irritating as shit. Alright, so we finally get out of the inning after fucking six hits that go directly in the exact same spot. Top of the six, Water Dragon's down by one. Let's see what we can do here. Ties it up just like that. 397 for Jay's third home run of the season, and the Water Dragons tied up 6 6. Tumbler gets one right past the second baseman, and Monkey will be on. As Bobby V steps up, he's been one of the top RBI guys on this team, but hasn't been able to get much going today. Oh, inside. And that one popped up. Ten down out of play. And oh, and of course. Benitez over there and makes the grab. Hey. 
Oh wow, and a butt! Oh, okay. <laughs> and a butt pops right to the catcher, throws him out, and that'll be the inning. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna have to pull out Bird. We'll put in, uh, let's put in Bermuda. Actually, no, let's see, who's... We'll put in Gervin. The Iceman! Starts him with a strike. Not gonna get as much commentary from me now at this point, because I'm a little irritated by that inning. It's one thing to give up hits in the game, it's another thing when every single hit is the exact same placement. There you go, Gervin comes in and gets a strikeout for the Water Dragons. As Benitez has two singles in the exact same location, along with every other player on this team that's got a single. That one hammered. It's gonna bounce off the wall. That'll be a double. I'd rather see that than five singles in the exact same location where I can't get it. Oh, good catch there by Carter. Boombrino comes up. He's one for three with a single in an RBI. Fouls that one off. And hot shot over to Tilford. Loves it. Goes to first. And that'll be a quick inning there for the Water Dragons. As the game is still tied here as we go to the top of the seventh with Tilford, Dundee, and Dangling do up. Topher will hit the first pitch, ground it over to first, and that'll be a one pitch out. Here's Dundee. He's a home run, single, and a walk. And he barely gets a piece of that one. It goes back to the pitcher over to first, and so two pitches and two outs. Extremely high, but called a strike. Anglin smacks that one. It'll go out into left field, and he will be on base. So here's Schopenhaus, who homered earlier with the three RBIs. Got one on with two outs in the top of the seventh in a tie game, 6-6. Six, six. That one outside. That one hot. That one came inside for a strike as it swung. 3-1 count. Chopped right to the pitcher who gloves it with ease as if he's a shortstop. And that'll be the inning. So Booty Nicks, Rob Hardwell, and Sampson are due up. Nicks is one for three today. Pops that up and out of play. Strike two on the big curveball. No, nope, inside. inside. Got her to swing. In the dirt. Catcher goes to first for the putout. As here's Hardwell, he's got two singles and a double. Also driven in a run today. Three for three. Irvin starts him with the ball. On oh, foul back. Strike two. Foul. Got him to swing at the high curveball, and down he goes, finally. Now up Lucian Sampson, who's 0 for 3 today. But he does have an RBI. And that one fouled back and out of play. Oh. 
Nope, that's Didn't not. give him to chase the curveball high. Ball low. And couldn't get him to chase the curveball low. And again, right up the middle. <laughs> Everything this team hits is right up the middle. So one on with two outs. More hammers that one foul. You bet that stretch right to fouls off that extremely high curveball somehow. And on the corner, strike three. Perfect spot there for Gervin. That'll bring up Carter J and Tumbler Monkey for the Water Dragons. Carter's got a double and a walk. And that one hit over to Knockmore. Uh, he's able to glove it. As all of their infielders can reach those up the middle. Here's Cousin Jay. He's got two singles and a home run. Batting three for three today. That one low for a ball. Inside, 2 1 count. That down. Good. Full count. Fouls it off. Oh. And a strike out there. So, two outs with Roller Monkey coming up. Hit over to Nix. And that'll be the out. Right at the bottom of the eighth with the tie. 6-6. Six, six. Nix, Cisnero, and Benitez do up. And Nix absolutely belts that one. And it is gone. So the hitter that's barely hit anything crushes one that was really high and inside in the zone somehow. Nope, inside. Dragon grabs that one out in the right field for the first out of the inning. I'm swinging there. So Gervin gives up the home run ball, but he's putting him down now. That one popped way in the air. And Dragon's there for the out. So do up is V, Dragon, and Topher. All of which have no hits today in the top of the ninth. Water Dragons got to get one. They are down six to seven. And Bobby V grounds it right to the shortstop for the out. Who can hit righties? Um, Brick doesn't have much stamina. Well, let's see if uh, we can get Babs something going here. Babs gonna pinch hit. Takes a strike that's inside. Fouls that one off. That's down. Ooh, good eye. Fouls it off. And of course, that one goes right to the shortstop. And that'll be out number two. So it's down to Topher, who's 0 for 4 in this one. And he 
puts that one on play. That one, that's going to fly over there to second base. And the Water Dragons will drop one. They haven't dropped one since the first game of the season. Final score, 6-7. Bird gave up five innings pitch, gave up 12 hits, so six earned runs, five strikeouts. Gervin, three innings, three hits, one earned run, five strikeouts. He will take the loss in tonight's game. The three stars of the game, number three for the Water Dragons, Kenny Schaffenhaus, who went one for four with a home run and three RBIs. Number two will be rock hard Rob Hardwell for the Bougie Birds. Three for four with a double and an RBI. Two stolen bases. And the number one star of the game for the Water Dragons was Dundee, who went two for three with a home run and an RBI. That was absolutely fucking irritating of a game. So let's see. Matches Chompers. Matches to that one. Mystics Jacks. And the Jacks pull away with that one. Buzzards, Guardians. Guardians get the win. Don't need to worry about that one. Serpents, Platypi. Serpents. Nightmares, Heaters. Nightmare fight back and win it. Finches, Phantoms. And the Phantoms, 6-0 win. Boy, the Finches have been terrible. Griffins, Junk Dogs. Griffins will take that one. Mystics, Griffins. And Mystics try to come back, but the Griffins hold on as they're now 11 and 3. Buzzards beat them. Guardians, Phantoms. All right, so after that week's games. Water Dragons still lead 11 to 2. They're in first place, but the Griffins are 11 and 3. Guardians 10 and 4, Mantis 9 and 4, Bougie Birds 9 and 4, and the Mystics are 8 and 6. Let's see if we have any new player developments. Um Here's one for old Brick. Deep sea fishing. Voyage onto the open water and try to land yourself a whopper. So we'll go ahead and purchase that one for him. And of course, we never get any of those. That was, dude, that, that, that inning was so stupid for the simple fact that every single hit was the exact same location. It was so frustrating. Like, I was getting irritated. I just wanted to get through the inning because it's like, what am I supposed to do? Didn't matter where I pitched them, every single hit went right to that spot where I couldn't get to. So that was that was irritating. And then the fact that they could just steal at will. It didn't matter what I did, they just stole. So that was kind of irritating. Especially when the throw's there in time and it doesn't look like they should be safe and they're still safe. It's like, wow, okay. So that was a frustrating one. But we're at 60 now, so maybe that's, you know... Maybe that's just what it is at 60. And of course, not acquired. I don't think we've gotten what? Maybe two of those? Those are kind of frustrating. So who do we got coming up next? Now we got the Junk Dogs. Which I think gave us our first... Yeah, honestly, I just feel like that's in the programming of the game. Like, no matter what... This game has a very, like, comeback mentality. If you're winning, you can, like, especially at certain egos. Once you get to a certain ego, it's like, oh, you're winning. Uh, now the team's going to be unstoppable no matter what you do. So it's kind of frustrating that it's like that, but eh, it is what it is. Uh, we'll keep it. I'll, I'll drop it down one. We'll go to 59. Technically, we did lose, so I would drop it down. I mean, we went up from 56 to 60, and I haven't played in a while, so that could be. But uh, let's see. We're going, to, we're going against a lefty this game, so we'll get right back into it. Pull Dragon out. 
for Cutesy. Pull Tumblr Monkey out, put Babs back in there. Um, let's see. Gopher did terrible. We're gonna we're gonna move Cootsie back to the number one. So to go Cootsie, Dundee, Danglin, Schaffenhouse, Carter. Um, I think we'll go Babs. J B and Topher. I think that's how we'll do it. As we got Valley pitching for us. Um we could go. We could actually put Jonesy in. He hits better against the lefties. So I think we'll swap Jonesy. We'll go like this. Then we'll go Jonesy, then McGee. We'll try it like that. Since he's a more of a lefty, we'll put him in the DH. Alright, let's try that. Oh, I forgot to change our uh, stadium to the new one. But yeah, that was that one irked me. All right, so here we are. Shaka's Sports Stadium. Junk Dogs coming into town to take on the Water Dragons. And I think I have the Junk Dogs uh, uniforms wrong. But do up for the Junk Dogs is Violent Bob, Gracie Rahan, and Welt Marin. Pitching. Start off the game will be Paul Valley for. Oh yeah, those are definitely home home jerseys. Whoops. So here we go. Time to move the strike. There's a grounder over to Topher, and that'll be the first out of the game. There's Gracie Rahan. The DH. Batting in the two spot. Batting at 171 at that. Takes a strike. Fouls that one up. So she's down 0 2 in the count. And oh, that one bounces off. Jay fires. No. The Valley tried to play it. Hits off of him. And then they're not able to get the out. As Welt Marin steps up, batting at 333 with one on and one out here in the top of the first. He takes a called strike. That one in there for strike two. Fouls off the curveball. Carter tags the bag. And now we've got a pickle. Topher gonna run it down on the tag. Double play. And that'll be the inning. So pitching will be Tucker Vadamachi. As Kuti back in the lineup in his leadoff spot. At 370. Big curveball drops in there. This time, Kutsi gets a hold of it. But a lot of field out there as this center field is deep at 433. So he flies out. Begin the at bats for the Water Dragons. And Dundee rips that one right past the second baseman and continues his hot streak of hitting. He'll be on base with a single. Now up to bat is Schaffenhaus, who's been absolutely locked in, batting a 483. It's a called strike. On outside. Schaffenhaus got a hold of that one, but I don't know if it has enough. It does! Just over the wall, Schaffenhaus. Here in the bottom of the first, and already has a home run, batting at 449. 18th RBI of the season, and that'll be a two-run shot for Schaffenhaus, as Jack Carter now steps up. Takes a ball. 
Oh, uh, curves over for a strike. Got us late. And two outs there on the strikeout. As now the DH, Matt Jonesy, takes his first at bat. Nobody on with two outs. And Jonesy crushes it down the left field wall into the dugout down there, or I should say the bullpen. Absolutely belted that one. 432, his fifth home run. And the Water Dragons now lead three to nothing. In comes the catcher. And McGee puts a good jolt into that one out in center field for the out though. So as we go into the top of the second, the Water Dragons pick up three hits and drive in three runs. Do up. For the Junk Dogs is Junkyard Jones, Perry, and Buckley. So here is Junkyard Jones, batting a 236. Valley gives him a little crotch dig and delivers a strike. Now a little scratch to the ass. As that one's hit over to Topher. Glove fires the first for the out. Now batting is Kendall Perry, the third baseman. Slider, no, that goes for a ball. And therefore strike. All right, hit over to Carter at first. Carter will run, check the bag, and that'll be two outs. As Vera Buckley, the shortstop, batting at 308. Takes her first hack of the game. That one goes foul down the left field line. And there for a strike. Oh, just outside. Good either. And foul tips off that one. on the curveball for the strikeout. As Cousin Jay, Topher, and Bobby V are due up in the bottom of the second. Here is Cousin Jay, the third baseman, batting at 378. Had a great game last game, getting on base three times. First pitch, curveball, and that one's popped way up in the center field. Violent Bob sitting on it, and that'll be a one pitch out. As the shortstop in the eighth spot, Chris Topher. Hammers that one into left field, but right there is Lynn for the out. And now up to bat is Bobby V. Takes the ball outside. One, ball two. Drops that curveball in. Strike two, so battles back. 2-2 two, two with two outs and nobody on. And Bobby V rips one out to left field, but right to the left fielder, Lynn. And that'll be three up, three down for the Water Dragons. Two up for Junk Dogs, Clay, Lynn, and Rage. Here is Jalea Clay, the catcher, batting a whopping 130. Inside. The ball inside. That one in there for a strike. Dofer just missed the glove on the dive. And that'll be on base. As Rowan Lynn, who made the two outs out there in left field, in the eighth spot, one on and one out, and nobody out. Takes the ball inside. That one shatters the bat. Out goes one and one. And again, fouls it off. And fouls it off again. That one. 
Not there. Carter goes to second. Topher back over to first, but not able to turn the double play. As Ryan Rage, who's been absolutely rattled as of late, in the ninth spot here. He's got power. Ball just down too low. That one got him to swing on it. Oh, trying to get him to chase the curve. Ball three, so he fights all the way back. And a hot shot there. Bobby V not able to get that one. That will drop in there. And that'll bring up the leadoff man. Violent Bop, 0 for 1 today. A 2 on with only one out. Starts him with a strike. Going in there for a ball. Ball 2. Fouls it off. Pops that one up. And that'll be the second out of the inning as Bobby V makes the grab. Now up Gracie Rahan, who singled her first at bat. He's got two on. Runners at second and first with two outs. Catch there by Topher as that was a screamer. Able to make the grab and nobody comes across. Junk Yogs were able to get a few hits. Left some runners on. What's up, Shadow? Uh, pretty good. We lost our first game though. But I don't want to say it was a little, little odd how the team just kept literally hitting in the exact same spot all inning there was just one inning where they had like six hits all going into the exact same spot and Kutsi got a hold of it does it have enough at the wall off the wall and Kutsi a lead off double but uh Schaffenhaus has done really well you had a three run home run in the first game and you already have a two run home run this game as Dundee now with a runner on second, no outs. Hot shot right underneath the... Uh-oh, can Kutsi make it in? No! Shoot! What an arm there by Violent Bob out in center field. As Schaffenhaus steps back up, as I mentioned. As a two-run homer in the first. Just late on that one. Oh, shit. So Schaffenhaus goes down on strikes, and that'll bring up the big bat of Jack Carter. Chopper. And he's on base with a single. As Matt Jonesy steps up to bat, who has a homer in the game. A big situation here as two on, two outs. Jonesy's already got one home run. Hammers that one, but I don't know if it's got enough. Right at the grass is Violent Bob, the edge of the grass, and that'll be the inning. So Water Dragons leave two on as we head to the top of the fourth. They lead three to zero. Valley up to 43 pitches, one strikeout, three hits. Well, Marin, do up. In there for a strike. All right, head over to Carter. Oh, wow, I don't know how that got past him. One on now with nobody out. 
And there we go. Here come the hits that go right past the second baseman. So if they get two or three more like this, I don't know. This might be my last game. As Kendall Perry on. With two outs, nobody on. Or nobody out with two on. See, this is how frustrated I am. Double play ball. Dundee able to get a hold of that one. And Vera Buckley steps up 0 for 1 today. Got a runner in scoring position. Fouls that one off. Right two. Pops it up. Shallow center. Oh no! What the hell? Not even gonna commentate on that. And of course, that one's gonna go fair. the inning but give up two on some stupid ass plays. McGee, Jay, and Topher do up. Oh. And Jay with a nice base hit out in the left field. Jeez, come on. Oh, gosh. And double play ball. Dude, I don't know. I don't know if the update changed something again, but oh my gosh. Here we go, right up the middle. Play ball. There we go. I'm just gonna lock in here. I'm not gonna do as much fun commentary because I can't. Oh my god. Hey, what do you know? Right up the middle. Oh, and of course he beats it up. Now everybody gets a hit. How did she even hit that? There we go. Got out of the inning. V, Kuti, and Dundee do up. As I'm getting fucking irritated. And of course. Not enough on that one. That'll be an out. Gucci got a hold of it, but not enough. And Dundee will ground out. God, dude, what the fuck? I wish I could anticipate pitches. Come on. She knows exactly what I'm pitching. 
There we go. There's a good strikeout. With a nice backhand glove. Second hour of the inning. There we go. Good inning pitch there by Valley. I just got to lock in. I'll bring up Schaffenhaus. Ah, what is going on? Late on everything, and I don't know why. That'll be a chopper over to second. Pull over the out. Comes Carter. And, oh my. Right to the first baseman for the out. Oh wow, that's a strike. And a right to the first baseman for the out. Starting to get that feeling like game's just jacking with me here. And that's a strike. Or that's a ball. This is going to be my last one for the stream. Oh, come on. Dude, this is absolutely asinine right now. Ball to Dundee over to Carter. Here comes Grace Rahan, who hasn't been hitting worth shit, but for some reason I can't get her out today. Pitching there. McGee, Jay, and Topher do up. And McGee gets on base. Good leadoff hit there. Brings up Cousin Jay. How am I late on these? Topher, oh, who's 0 for 50 at this point. Oh, come on, dude. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Well, let's go ahead and bring in... Uh, Bring in Bermuda, I guess. Oh, that was a ball. How? Come on, they are hitting everything. Dude, I'm pitching him absolute shit. And then, oh, and then he's just gonna rock it with him. There we go. Well, Kutsi, uh, you haven't really missed much besides me getting fucking irritated as shit tonight. Oh, 
Oh, man. This is the uh, second game. First game was pretty dang good until all of a sudden they had an inning where they hit literally, I think, five, five or six hits in a row were in the exact same spot up the middle, right past second base, and there's nothing I could do. Didn't matter if I pitched them on the corners, over the plate, out of the zone, everything. And it's kind of been like that this game. They're just getting all these little bloop hits on these ridiculous pitches. And hopefully I can hold on to the lead. But we did lose our last game. Oh, and of course, I get thrown out. I can't fucking throw them out to save my life, but... Oh, take that, motherfucker. Oh, he got hit in the head and didn't go down? What? Kutsi! There we go. All right. Dundee and Kutsi get it, get it going for us. Hey, all right. We got something going. What trait is that? Oh, the like get hit in the head one? Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Right at the wall. Here comes Jonesy, he homered. He's got two on, two outs. Gone. There we go. Jonesy coming through. Lobber that one out of the stadium. Let's go, Jonesy. Yeah, I forgot he had the metal hit on. 469. Had to get sweaty. I was dicking around too much, I guess. Babs nails one out there to center field, but it's caught for the out. So we go to the top of the night. We lead seven to two. Did she just say bring out the fire because you got toasted? At the corner goes the Carter for the out. Yeah, V on the run. Down to their final out. Shell tonight, I'm down. I am down for some shell. See if we can get this guy out and get a win. Got him! There we go. The Water Dragons get back in the wing column. Over the Junk Dogs, they win it 7-2. Both teams had 13 hits and no errors on the day. Your winner is Valley. Pitched seven innings, gave up 12 hits, two earned runs, five strikeouts. His fourth win of the season. And Bermuda gets the save, going two innings with only one hit, two strikeouts. His first save of the year. Your three stars. Number three for the Water Dragons is the starting pitcher, Paul Valley. And your second star. The center fielder for the Water Dragons, Kenny Schaffenhaus, going two for four with a home run, two RBIs. 
And your first star of the game for the Water Dragons is Matt Jonesy. He was batting in the DH spot, going two for four with two home runs and four RBI. We'll see if uh, who if if the boys want to play show right now. That'll be my last one. If not, I'll play one more. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, we got a uh, what you call it here. What do we got? Uh, you just farted in the locker room and it smells like a chicken coop. Who do you put the blame on? Well, we can't put the blame on Dundee, so. About to put it on cart. Well, we'll go Dundee because uh, he's got the higher loyalty and Carter actually shows up to the streams here, so we'll go Dundee. So, sorry, Dundee. You're going to lose a little bit of loyalty. 17 games to sim. We're starting with first. Heaters, chompers. Chompers get the win. Platter five, Finches. Some bottom feeder teams here. And Finches! Hey, their second win of the season. Mantis and the Jacks. Jacks! Big win there for them. Bougie Birds, Nightmares. Nightmares! Win a close one. Mystics, Buzzards. Mystics get a win. Staying up there. They're trying to get promoted into the pennant league. Guardians, Junk Dogs, and Junk Dogs pick up a huge win there. Platypie Chompers. Chompers, hold on to that one. And the Mantis versus the Heaters. Mantis fighting back. Can they pull it off? Back and forth game, and they do finally get the win. So that was a close one there as the heaters were 5-10. and 10. Mantis staying up there. So as we head to what, game 15, I think? We're almost halfway. We head to the halfway game. Water Dragons lead. They're first in the Bush League, 12-2. Griffins are 11-3. Guardians, 10-5. Mantis, 10-5. Bougie Birds 9 and 5 and Mystics 9 and 6. Uh, Coach said it's on Kenny, I think. Vega on NHL already. All right. Let's check our player development. See if we have anything new that won't lose us anything. There we go. All right. Here we go. Greg done deep some bear wrestling for him. Yeah, let's try that. <laughs> Hey, he actually got plus four power. Wow. All right. That was a pretty good one there for Dundee. We finally actually hit a extra. Oh, look at that. There's some wide load signed Peak Physique. That's cool. Is there anyone to sign? Squinch Toot Whistle. Second baseman. Warren Yout. Doyen Stafford. Cooper Finster. Scoops Tomahawk King. Teresa Ketchum, Roger Ali, closing pitcher. I mean, because we we do have some money, and there's some players that you know don't really show up to the streams. We could potentially improve Rakita Rakonda. <laughs> what? Rakita Rakonda. All right, what a name. I think there was a new way that you could like sort as well. By position so I don't think we really need a catcher we got rolling we got Babs uh, we're gonna first we're gonna second what else we got third base probably good there 
butt puckerman. <laughs> what a name. Short stop, we're good there. Left field, we don't really need. Center field, Hopper Finster. We got Magic Hands. Good feeling, decent speed, good arm. He's a pretty solid player, 36. He'd have be a veteran. Hayam Colliner. Raylan Chung. Right fielders, how we called it. <laughs> Sluggy Boomhauer, what a name. Starting pitchers, Warren Yout, Doyen Stafford, Burl Chinning. Some of these names are absolutely wild. Aaliyah Knight. Let's see. How about starter and reliever? Spike Pena. Rita Reconda. 24. So, a youngster. With a B plus. Not necessarily going to help us in the relief pitching department. Archer Hurst. As an elite curve. All right, so Kenny said. Okay. Relief pitcher Armando Nuts. Good at the reverse splits. Knox Orozco. Brett Branch. And no one really that I see that I'm like, ooh. No one that I see that I'm very. I think this guy improves our team, so. Um, Cootsie, I'm down. I'll play one more if you're if you'd be down to, to play some hockey in 20 minutes or so. We'll do one more game. Who are we facing? We are facing the Phantoms at 7-7. Seven and seven. I'm going to leave it at 59. Um, I know I said I would go up, but I don't, I'm don't. i already a little irritated, and I don't want to deal with uh, getting more irritated if I bump it up to 60. So we're going to we're gonna keep it at 59. That was a close game. Maybe we found that mark of like, hey, okay, this is where we need to be. Uh, we are facing a righty in Ding Barnes, and we got Ulan Thorson pitching for us. So, with that, let's get into it. We got a lot of players tense. Carter tense. Topher's tense. So, what we can do is we can actually swap. Hmm. I don't know if we really have a shortstop. We could move J. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll move J position swap with Topher. Um, and then Jonesy can play first base and infield. So I think what we'll do is we'll take Jonesy position, swap him over to third base. And then we'll take Topher out for someone that can bang against the righties. So perfect. Dangling can go back in at DH. Bobby V's feeling tense out in left field. So we'll swap Bobby V out. Uh, we could put Dragon out there. He's got the speed. He can play the infield and the outfield. Or we could actually go Bermuda. Let's go Bermuda. He can play both. And then Carter. Um, I don't necessarily want to take Carter out of the game. I don't know who we can put in at first base. Um, Brick could technically play infield, but he's our pitcher and he's going to be pitching tomorrow. So I don't know if we necessarily want to do that. But what we could do is who's Danglin plays left field. Oh, he plays left field and outfield, not infield. Brick's not going to be much of a fielder. 
Buda, Cootsies, right field, outfield, shopping house, center field, outfield. Yeah, we're kind of stuck here. So, I don't think I want Danglin in the outfield. He's too slow. So, I think what we'll do is position swap maybe with Jonesy. We'll have Jonesy play first. We can keep Jay at third. We'll take Brick out for Dragon. There we go. So Cootsie will lead off Dundee, Shopping House, and then we'll go Jonesy. Jonesy was killing it. Um, then we can go Danglin. Danglin's been hitting really well. Back. Go Danglin, Jonesy. He. J. Actually, let's move Bermuda up a little bit. I like that. Thorson, our number three pitcher. There we go. All right, let's play some ball. So here we go, the Phantoms coming into Shaka Sports Stadium. Take on the Water Dragons. Water Dragons will have Ulan Thorson on the mound starting. And do up for the Phantoms will be Wild, Strong, and Boy. Big Boy. So here he comes, the second baseman. Buck Wild. Batting a 250 on the year. Thorson starts him with a strike. Skyrocketed out there. Chopping house in position. And that'll be the first out. Here comes the right fielder, Jamarcus Strong. Also a top notch wide receiver in lockdown football. Strike. Oh, that one could be off the wall. I thought I was going to be gone. Strong shows his strength there. And now up to bat is Big Boy, who's been locked in, the third baseman. Runner on second. It's One out. Babs goes to third, and no. Not in time. Him swinging to Thorson. Well, the runner's at third with Amos Keller batting a 269 with two outs. Think we can get out of this inning. Strike. Strike. And got him on three straight pitches. So Thorson leaves one stranded at third. Phantoms get a hit. No runs come across as we go to the bottom of the first. Dean Barnes will be the starting pitcher. His ERA 156. Due up is Cootsie, Dundee, and Shopping House. One in there for a strike. And Kutsi with a nice hit. Oh, it gets down. Molina with a sliding dive. But it drops, and Kutsi's on with a leadoff. Single. That'll bring up Greg Dundee. Adding a 571. Yes, on in there for a strike. Yes, and strike two. Dundee hits that one. Oh, wow. What a grab there by Big Boy. That'll 
and bring up Schaffenhaus. Here he goes. And he's safe. Strike was called on Schaffenhaus. He didn't quite get enough of it. Flies out there to left field, and that'll be out number two. PT retreats back to second. That brings up the DH hot dangling in the cleanup spot with 10 home runs on the season. Hot shot. Pootsie, they're sending him. Francois Paquette. In there! Luckily, the ball was dropped. Cootsie gets it. Water Dragons lead one to nothing. In the bottom of the first, that'll bring up Matt Jonesy, who's been crushing the ball. And there, that'll be a base hit. Matt Danglin's going to third. And it'll be runners at the corners with two outs. That'll bring up Johnny Bermuda's batting a 400. Hasn't got to see too much offensively. Next one inside. Strike. And again. Strike it's a off. And that'll drive in another. So an RBI double there for Bermuda. Extends the lead in the bottom of the first. As now Babs McGee steps up to bat. Two on, two outs. Just late on that one. He hammers that one, but it goes foul down the right field line. So she's down 0-2 in the count. And a hot shot. That's going to drive in another. Make it 3-0. As the runs continue to creep across, bringing up Cousin Jay. An RBI hero. Runners at the corners. And oh, just popped that one up. Jello left field, that'll be the inning. So the Water Dragons get five hits, bring across three as we go to the top of the second with Boo, Paquette, and Woodard coming up. Here is Christine Boo, the right fielder. She's playing the DH spot, so she's only hitting today. Strike. And she gets started with a strike. Battles that one off into the Water Dragon dugout. She's down 0-2. Battles that one off again. That quick slider. No, couldn't get her to chase. Oh, popped up in the infield. Dundee, finally underneath it, for the out. Here's Francine Paquette. Center fielder batting in the sixth spot. Orson starts it with a strike. And that one, a little roller. Thorson fires it over to first for the out. Carolina Woodard now up the shortstop, batting at 391. Batting in the seventh spot. Rips that one to Dundee. Oh, Dundee makes the dive. Couldn't glove it. And wow, still safe somehow. Looked like she was out. Uh, what a job there by Dundee. As that brings up Molina in the at left field. And she's going to rip that one. Back-to-back so -back singles. Two-out rally going here for the Phantoms. <laughs> Leah Jeffries, the catcher, steps up. As the bottom of the order giving Thorson some trouble. No ball side. No side. Ah, all right, I don't know where that one missed. Oh, come on. And that's going to drive in one, possibly two. And it does drive in two. 
That'll bring up Buck Wild. So the two out rally continues to go. And again, Ump is absolutely squeezing me here. Come on. That'll tie the game. RBI double there for Wild. That's Demarcus Strong who doubled earlier in the game. All of a sudden, they are hitting absolutely everything. Hey, okay, gloves it. And that'll be the inning, but they do the damage. Phantoms come back, tie the game at three apiece. As we go to the bottom of the second with Dragon, Cootsie, and Dundee do up. Hit there from Dragon. And he'll be on base. Lead off single. Gucci <laughs> comes back up. He's one for one today. Dragon goes. It's a strike. And he's in there safely. Gucci dribbles that one over to short. He'll be out, but the runner does advance to third. That'll bring up Dundee. Oh, that one off the pitcher's glove. Dundee save. Like he might have pulled up a little bit there on that one. Stubbed his toe. Hopefully he's all right. Oh, two here to shopping house. Hard smack over there. And Dundee will be safe at second, but they do get Shopping House over at first. So Dundee stole the game after stubbing his toe. Banglin rounds it to second. That'll be the inning. Water Dragons pull back ahead, though, after getting one run across. Do up is Big Boy Keller and Christine Vu. Need to check in on Dundee. Dundee's okay. Strike. Orson starts him with a strike. Was cruising until a couple little dingers. And then the big ones came across. And this seems to be what the computer keeps doing to me. Anything out of the zone, they fell off or blew for a base hit. And that's like six straight foul balls with pitches way out of the zone. But if you give them anything on the corners, they absolutely melt it. That one goes to Dragon over at short. He goes to first, and that'll be the out. Out to bat is Keller, the first baseman. Takes a strike. And a hard hit there, and goes into the spot where the computer always hits it. Right up the middle, past the second baseman. So one out, and now here we go. One hit is on. Strike. Starts her with a strike. Okay, goes to second, Dundee to first. And of course, save. Francine takes a called strike. No, no. Ball there. Strike. Strike two. Got her to swing and a strike out there. A good inning from Thorson. As the Water Dragons lead four to three, going to the bottom of the third. With Jonesy, Bermuda, and McGee do up. They got the first inning of the three runs going. And they do it again as Jonesy, playing first base today, got a single. He's been crushing it lately, locked in. And just like that, puts one. That's going to bounce off the wall. He's going too. 
Francine fires in there, sliding is safe. Is Jonesy a leadoff double? As now Bermuda steps in. He's already got a double and an RBI. Hammers that one. Doesn't get out of the infield. A good play there by Buck Wild. So one out, but a runner is on third with Babs McGee due up. He's got a single and an RBI as well. Ooh, just late. Hammers that one right back at the pitcher. Taste of their own medicine, get or the Phantoms, as that one drives in a run. Another RBI single for Babs. Score goes to five to three. Brings up Cousin Jay. And a hot shot there from Jay. Everyone's trying to advance, and oh, probably shouldn't have. They tried to go two, didn't quite make it. That'll bring up Dragon. Two outs, runner on third. Pops that one up. Out in the right field. <coughs> Strong is there for the out. But the Water Dragons tack on another one. They extend the lead three to five with Woodard, Molina, and Jeffries due up. So here's Woodard. Seven, eight, nine hitters all getting hits earlier in the game. Nope. And a nice glove by Dragon. Goes to first and wow. They are just getting every close call over there at first base. Again, Woodard on with some type of bloop single. Jonesy with a nice dive will tag the runner at first, or tag the base, I should say. But the runner will advance to second as Leah Jeffries is up. Strike. Starts her with a strike. That one inside for a ball. Strike. Strike two. Ball oh, ball two. Oh. Got her swinging on the curveball, so a good pitch there from Thorson as Buck Wild steps in. He doubled and brought in a run earlier. Two outs with a runner on second. Gets a strike called in there. No, Not no. One low. In the dirt. Ball two. No, Ball three. Thorson trying to pitch around here. Strike. That one in there for a strike. Fouls that one off. Got him to swing at one outside the zone. And Thorson, after giving up three in the second, has looked sharp since. Go to the bottom of the fourth. Dragons lead five to three. Cootsie, Dundee, and Schaffenhaus do up. <laughs> Cootsie. First pitch swinging over at short. Grounds out there. Here comes Dundee. One for two with a single and an RBI. Shot that's gonna get through out into the center field, and he'll be on with a single. Shopping house who's been locked in over two today. We got Dundee on with one out. Strike. Oh, it takes a strike. Hammers that one foul, so he quickly falls behind. 0 2 in the count. Completely crushes it right to Molina out there in left field, and that'll be out number two. That'll bring up Hot Danglin. He's got a single in an RBI today. That one right back at the pitcher. It's all the way out in the center field, and Danglin's on again with another single. That'll bring up. The first baseman, Matt Jonesy, 
who's two for two with a single and a double. RBI situation here, two on, two out. Fouls that one off. And that one was high in the zone, swung. Kind of popped it up there to the shortstop and that'll be the inning. Water Dragons leave two on as we head to the top of the fifth with Strong, Bully, and Keller do up. Thorson's up to 63 pitches with five strikeouts, seven hits, no walks. Here's Jamarcus Strong, he has a double today. And a hard shot there, Dragon not able to get it. First pitch swinging was strong and he's on with the leadoff. He's got speed, which means no matter what I do, he'll steal second. That one looked like a strike to me, but all right. Bootsy gets that one out there in right field, so back-to-back -back singles. As Keller steps up. That one a ball. I can see how this inning is going to go, so I have to pitch out of the zone or they will continue to hit me. Double play ball, Jonesy goes to second. Dragon back over to first. Double play is successful. As Christine Vu steps up, she's got runner on third with two outs. Pops that one up. And wow, it's gonna drop. So a run will come across. Cause I can't tell where the fuck the ball's gonna go. Should have been an out. down the left field line, but foul. And she finds a way to foul that one off. That one is absolutely crushed. And, oh my god. I fucking hate this game and how you can't see where the ball's gonna go. And now she's gonna hit one. Straight. That'll be the inning. So two scores come across on bullshit fielding plays because you can't tell where the fuck the ball's gonna go. I'm just gonna get this game over with as quick as possible. And it's just pissing me off. Should have stopped at the last one. Strike. Strike. Oh, what the fuck? There you go. Jay reaches. I'll bring up Ace Dragon. I hope he's safe because shit, I'm not trying to steal or anything. And that's gonna ground out. Peter gets all these base hits and I just ground out. Okay, hopefully we can play this one. Anytime it's hit in the outfield, I'm a little worried because can't tell where the ball is going. Very low. No low. <laughs> Dude, I've I've been so fucking annoyed tonight playing this game. Strike. 
We started when the one team, we lost the game because the team just literally kept hitting the exact same spot. Like, come on. No, no. That's inside. This game is very, oh, I see you pulled way ahead. We're going to go ahead and make the hitters on the opposite team get all these fucking hits that they probably shouldn't hit. Come on, get this guy out. Building just drives me out. Pop-ups and stuff like that. The fact that you're playing a baseball game and you can't tell where the ball is going to go is just so fucking stupid. Alright, so that's probably Thorson's last inning. Let's try to get him to win here. Kutsu's up. Good hit there from Kutsu. Lead off, that's all we need. Now let's see if we can get him over to... In there safely. Out in the dirt. There you go, Dundee. That ball's got to be out. That's what we needed right there. Two run shot for Dundee. Gonna wait for that one all game. 458 into the flamethrowers. 24th RBI, that'll bring up Schaffenhaus, who's 0 for 3, looking for his first hit of the game. And he pops it up. I, I wish I was the computer and knew exactly where to go on a pop up. So dangling, two singles and an RBI, one out, nobody on. There's a good hit. That's going to get into the gap. That should be a double. Double for Dangling. Sliding in there safely. As Matt Jonesy steps up. He got a single and a double today. One out. Runner on second. And he hammers that one right to the second baseman. He tags the glove. Or the base. And that'll be it. But the Water Dragons are able to put two across as they go to the top of the seventh with a two-run lead, seven to five. Keller, Vu, and Paquette do up. Oh, We're gonna go ahead and pull out Thorson, and we'll go ahead and I think we'll go with uh, Jonesy for this one. See what Jonesy can do. No, oh, Cootsie on the run. Let's go, Cootsie. What a play. I was about to say, are you fucking serious? They're going to drop one in right off the first pitch. Strike. Strike. Right. There you go. A good pitch there from Zach Jonesy. As Francine Paquette strike. steps in. He starts her with a strike. There's that one, but Kutsi gloves it. And a quick inning for Zach Jonesy as we go to the bottom of the seventh. Two run lead, and Bermuda, McGee, and Cousin Jay will be due up. So here's the two way player, Johnny Bermuda, playing left field today. Hammers that one, but right to the second baseman. He didn't even have to move. As if it was programmed to go right to him. That's McGee up now. No blow. Fouls that one off. And fouls that one off. And hey, what do you know? Right to the second baseman as if it was programmed to go right to him. Cousin Jay up. Two singles on the day. That one outside. Jay hammers it, but it stays up too high, and that'll be the inning. We go to the top of the eighth with Woodard, Molina, and Jeffries due up. Woodard batting in the seven spot with a 462 average as three singles today. 
About to just beam her right in the face. And what do you know? First pitch gets it right past the first baseman down the line. She'll be on base yet again. Get that lady a new contract because she is the best player alive. Oh, come on! How the fuck do you hit a curveball that high? And here we go yet again! The Phantoms are gonna hit every single fucking pitch I throw at them. Jonesy goes to two, over to three. The double play is made. So nice, Dodgers up 8-1, well at least that's good. Brings up Buck Wild. He grounds it over to Dragon. Goes to first for the out. So bottom of the eighth, Dragon, Kutsi, and Dundee. Go ahead and make the swap here. Um, actually, he's gonna put in. Are we facing a righty still? Time yeah, we are. Out. So, let's see. Sub. Put in Rolly. Rolly will be on base. That's exactly what we needed from him. And they're finally changing their pitcher as Ding Barnes comes out for Vicky Proctor, the closing pitcher. Righty. Got a lot of velocity, not much else. So now we'll sub out Tumblr. And we'll put in who's got the most speed? Topher. We'll go ahead and put Topher in. That way he can play short. Oh, that one inside. Oh, fuck you. Go for caught in the pickle. And he'll be out. Oh my god, I didn't want to swing at that. And Kutsi's on with a base hit. Here comes Dundee. Two singles and a home run. He goes, and he's in there safely. Oh, fuck, what am I swinging at? At least I fouled that one off. Go! But we can't go on that one because he would have been thrown out. So it's up to Shopping House, who's 0 for 4 today. The clutch spot, high pressure. Whoa, that almost hit him. And that'll be a base hit. Shopping House comes through and extends the lead. Now it's 5 to 8. And Hot Dangling now up, who's 3 for 4, double, two singles, and an RBI. And that one's a hot shot. We're sending Dundee. And we shouldn't have. 
<laughs> oh, fuck. There's Jonesy. Got a single and a double. Get down. No. So here we go. Top of the ninth. Water Dragons lead 8 to 5. You know what that means. Stop the lineup in. Time to bring in the closer. The gas thrower, the heater. Chambers coming in. You know what's coming. Number one. Fouls that one off. And again, somehow he keeps fouling off these pitches. Got him at 104. <laughs> yeah, it's been it's uh, been going fink is mad. Yeah, that's definitely what's been going on. No, no, no. Wow, 106. Wouldn't want to have to face that. Bailey dribbles that one. Jay bare hands it over to first, and two up, two down for the closer. Here comes Keller. Strike. Chambers, 106. Hoxalugi rares back. 105. Down to their final pitch. Got him swinging, and Chambers is a closer, man. Let me tell you. Water Dragons take it, so after dropping their first game, they come back and win their next two. They beat the Phantoms 8-5. 21 hits for the Water Dragons, 14 for the Phantoms. Thorson gets the win, Chambers gets the save. It'll be Thorson's third win, Chambers' third save. The loss goes to Barnes for the Phantoms. Your three stars of the game, no, your third star is the right fielder for the Water Dragons, number 84, Luke Kutze, who went three for five, had three runs and three stolen bases. Second star of the game for the Water Dragons, number 36, Hot Danglin, the DH. He went four for five, a double and an RBI. And your first star of the game is for the Water Dragons, number 99, Greg Dundee, who went four for five, had a home run and three RBIs. Yeah, that was a frustrating one tonight. I gotta say, that was uh, it was frustrating. Maybe it's just because I haven't played in a while. Um, I do feel like that that game wasn't as bad. I think it was just the fact that I was already kind of irritated it was getting to me. Uh, we got nine games of Sim here, so we don't care about that one. Jax versus the Bougie Birds. And Jax, whoa, that's a big win for the Jax. Nightmare Serpents. Big game. Oh, back and forth. Serpents with a huge win. Guardians versus the Finches. Finches, the bottom feeders there. And they, wow, they beat a top team like the Guardians. Oops. I think the Griffins won one. I accidentally simmed it too late. So here we go after that one. Yeah, yeah, for real. Being able to get you on and run the bases was super helpful. I, was, I haven't been able to do that the first two games, but that game, that helped a lot. Water Dragons are 13 and 2. Griffins, 12 and 3. Mantis, 10 and 5. Guardians, 10 and 6. Bougie Birds, 9 and 6. Mystics, 9 and 6. Boy, it's still anyone's game as far as who's going to have the chance to get promoted to the Pennant League. Um, as far as who's going to get dropped from the Pennant League, you're looking at the Sand Cats, the Saw Teeth, and the Moose. So it's going to be close. Let's see if we got any new player development after that game. Um, festival outing. Could you imagine? Oh, that's my, that's not Mike Chambers. That's uh, Mike Tumblr Monkey going to a festival. Go ahead and give that one to him. Contact's going to go up to 46, and we won't get the bonus of three. Kenny Shopping House Victory Vitamins. Speeds up to 91, but no bonus of plus four because we never get those. And that'll be it. We don't want to lose any of our traits because I guarantee if we do any other ones, we'll lose our traits. Uh, we'll check out our 
uh, team stats here before we sign off for the night. Hitting wise, let's see who's got the. Uh... Oops. No, I want to. There we go. So, who has the most hits on our team? Dundee with 40. Schaffenhaus, 32. Hot Dangling, 31. Home runs. Dangling with 10. Dundee with 8. Schaffenhaus with 7. RBIs, Dundee. Dangling, Schaffenhaus. Dundee's just absolutely crushing. 588. Dangling, 534. Rowley's still batting a 514 off the bench. Dundee's come across 28 times. Shopping house 20. TB? Oh, TBB. I wonder what TB would be. Can't think of it. Doubles. Carter leads in doubles. Dundee dangling. Triples. Bobby V. Dundee's had four walks. Topher's had five walks. He's, or five strikeouts. He's terrible. Stalling bases. Cootsie with 10. Topher with nine. Let's go to our pitching stats. Valley's 4 0. Thorson 3 0. Our only losses have come from our bullpen. ERA. Looking at Chambers. Still hasn't given up a run. Gervin with a 0.93. Highfield with a 1.3. Valley with a 1.5. All doing them pretty damn good there. All right. Good stuff. So we're 13 and 2. We are now officially at the halfway point. So 15 more games before the the playoffs. We've got a pretty good lead, I would say. So as you can see, it says Bush League top 2 teams make the playoffs. From both leagues, but remember, we don't really worry about the playoffs as far as that goes. We're more worried about getting promoted to the pennant league for next year, where we play the tougher teams in the actual uh, Super Mega Baseball teams. The number, the top two teams will automatically advance into the pennant league next season. The three through six teams will play in a single elimination tournament. The winner will be the third team to advance to the Pennant League. And the bottom three teams in the Pennant League will get demoted to the Bush League. All right, guys. I'm the Finkster. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a little frustrating. It wasn't quite our... Wasn't quite our usual fun and uh silly time but uh still good nonetheless i think i just had to work a little bit of the rust off maybe i don't know uh there was an update maybe they changed stuff again on how the game's played or maybe i just sucked today i don't know but either way hope you guys enjoyed it if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so uh we're gonna be i know i still have a few in the discord scheduled so if you want to uh check us out in the discord get in some of our other leagues that we got going on you're more than welcome to do that let us know we'll send you the link in the meantime i'm the finkster and i'll see you on the next one so long